Common Edge Machining Common Edge Machining is another way to improve the efficiency. It aims at avoiding repeatedly twice cutting. We can realize the Common Edge Machining by manual path editing or through graphics modifying. Firstly, manual path editing. Import a file. We will create a copy of this object to make a common edge between the two. Select it, hold down shift, and drag it to get a copy. Press space, and it will rotate by 19 degrees. Hold down Alt, move the mouse to the corner of the object. And when we see the green dot, left click the mouse to move it until we see the green dot again. And now the two objects are connected together and they share this same edge. Select the objects, go to Path, and choose Menu Path. The compensation and the feed speed can be set under the Design Central. Left click the mouse to choose the starting path. And the red arrows and the blue dotted lines will show the direction and the path that can be chosen to follow next. When this dialog box shows, it means that the path has reached the end. To simulate path simulation, this edge was supposed to be cut twice, but after we manually set the path, it is only cut one time. And now let's take a look at the graphics modifying. Here are two rectangles. Combine them together to make a common edge. Select Objects, go to Modify, and choose Trim. Move the mouse to the overlap edges of the two objects, and cut one line with the other left as the common edge. When you see the scissors, left-click to cut, and right-click to finish. Would you like to create loops after cutting or extending, which is no. Divide these two objects, we can see that they share this common edge. Generate Auto Path, go to Path and choose Auto Path. Path simulation. Through modifying the edges of the graphs, we can also achieve common edge machining. This edge is cut on one time. And that's the end of the Common Edge Machining tutorial. Thank you.